hello everyone you're welcome to my channel you're welcome to this and stitch if you're a new subscriber or returning subscriber you're welcome please kindly like share comment subscribe please subscribe and click the notification bell thank you This is my front bodies. I'm going to tape it down. This is my skirt. I'm going to fold the zip allowance away and align it with the bodies. Then tape it down also. I'll make sure that the darts align properly. Now I'm going to use my tracing wheel to trace out the parts that I have curved. Like the neckline and the armhole. I'm going to use tracing wheel for that. I'm going to use my thumb tack to locate my dart position I'm going to get the bust point which is above the waist dart I'm going to get the waist dart position also I'm also going to get the bust point on the hip length then the side dart also I'm going to get it using the thumb tack I want to get my lines so I'm using the tracing wheel to get the beginning and the end of the lines I'm done now I'm going to remove the skirts and the bodies now I'm going to draw all the lines that I traced This is my ammo depth line. I 
this is the bust point line and this is my waist line this is my hip length line This is the knee length line and lastly the dress length line which is also the M of the dress. It won't be skirt length anymore because now it is a dress so it will be dress length. I'm going to get all the dots, all the points that I got with my thumb tack to trace out my dots. Now I'm going to draw out my side darts. Even though my darts will not get to the boss point area, I always mark it out. The, the buster part on the boss point line and buster part on the hip length line. I always mark it out in case I need it for something else later. Now I'm going to draw the cover of the side. Because I don't want it pointed or sharp. This is my center front and it's going to be unfold. This is my straight grain. This is what my dress looks like after tracing out the bodies and the skirts pattern. This is my knee length. I can decide to you know make it a short dress a knee length dress i stop at the knee length line if it's above the knee you come up you measure three four inches above the knee length line and cut it there if you want a short dress if you want a long dress to the ankle that gets to the ankle then you come down to this dress length and leave it that way now i'm cutting it out
this is my straight dress this is the hip length line I, I'm going to measure it it's a straight dress from the hip down to the knee down to the hem of the dress is the same measurement so that makes it a straight dress this is a sheet dress there is no joining on the waist and is fitted at the bust at the waist and at the hip I'm going to trace out the back piece now I'll be using the back bodice my back bodice doesn't have zip allowance with it so I'm going to create space that's two inches for zip allowance I'm going to create space at the center back there this is my skirt pattern I'm going to open the zip allowance now because I'm making the back piece and tape it down I'll make sure my dads align properly everything is properly aligned I have to leave zip allowance here because the pattern doesn't have zip allowance unlike the skirt pattern Now I'm going to trace out the curved part. Trace the neckline into that zip allowance that you left there. The same thing I did for the front is what I'm going to do for the back. I'll trace out all the sides and trace out all the lines and trace out the dots also Now I'm going to label this is my dress lens this is my knee lens this is the hip length line this is the waist line the bust point length line and the ammo depth line I'm going to trace out my dots.
Now I'm trying to trace out my zip allowance, which is 2 inches. If you're using invisible zip, 1 inch is okay for zip allowance. If you're using the normal, either the detachable or the normal simple zip, then you can use 2 inches. This is my zip allowance, 2 inches. This is my straight screen. This is my center back. This is for the short length and this is for the long or magazine length for this straight sheet dress. You can cut it at any length that you want, either above the knee or below the knee, any length. I'm going to adjust the curve there. Now I'm going to cut it out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please kindly like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new here, and click the notification bell. Thank you.